boogeyman is real, and you found him. Welcome to Gargoyle Graphics. This is the Sunday Night Screams, where we curse the sun so we can howl at the moon. This is going to be a wrap-up of things that I've found that happened this week in horror, and we'll go down a few side roads as well. So let's begin. Uh, starting off is uh, King Spawn number 1 from Todd McFarlane launched this week, and it came with a whole slew of covers. And it set records selling like $500,000 worth of copies sold to shops. In the coming weeks, it'll be interesting to see how many of those copies actually sell to customers. Um, or if it's just the speculators driving up the print order to get those uh, variant ratios. Anyways, this will be the first step in what Todd's calling the Spawns Universe. In October, there's supposed to be a Gunslinger Spawn uh, series launched. And then I think in December another series launched as well so anyways moving on we've got released in august 25th of 1979 is fulci zombie and that is a bizarre movie if you've ever had a chance to watch it if not i recommend it um also released august 29th of 1980 he knows you're alone starring the uh, first uh, appearance anywhere for uh, mr tom hanks even predating the uh, Bosom Buddies. How about that? Also releasing is on August 28th in 1981, Hell Knight, starring the lovely Linda Blair. Also releasing on August 27th, 1983, is Needful Things. And then released August 26th of 1983 is the movie Fire and Ice, based off uh, Frank Frazetta drawings. The interesting thing about that is later in the mid-90s, about 10 years later, Glenn Danzig launched his own comic book company called Verotic, in which he used this character, which he named Jaguar God. It was a cool series. The first few issues was him writing with uh, art by Simon Bisley, which is very cool. And then, in August 28th of 2009, was the much divisive follow-up to Rob Zombie's Halloween, Halloween 2. People love or hate this movie. I'm not a big fan. Kind of went down a weird road for me. Why while we're on the subject, Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe released on August 25th in 1998. This would be his first solo venture since the breakup of uh, White Zombie. And it's a hell of an album. It's got Dragula, Living Dead Girl. I mean, almost every song's great to listen to. I mean, from front to back, it's a, it's a great album. And then releasing this week is the new Candyman movie, which is apparently not a reboot but a continuation of the story so good for them and celebrating a birthday is brian thompson born on august 28th 1959 this was the guy that he was one of the street toughs that got absolutely skewered by arnold schwarzenegger in the first terminator movie he was also the alien bounty hunter in x files and he played shao khan in the mortal Kombat annihilation movie he was also in the movie cobra uh, starring opposite sylvester stallone as the night slasher which is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time and here's a clip you have to take me in if you can even I have rights, don't I, pink? <laughs> 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 ha 